Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to repair or fix the Windows Store if you are either receiving error alerts while using it or it is unable to even open up. So we're going to go into three different methods here. I'm going to start with what I believe to be the easiest of the three and that's to be to head over to our start button and we want to right click on it and then we want to left click on run now you want to type in capital W, capital S, capital R, and now you want to type in lowercase e s e t. So basically it's just W S R all capital and then reset, but the R in reset is capital and then dot exe. And then left click on OK. This will reset the Windows Store and hopefully you'll be able to access it at this point. The second method would be to open up a web browser here and navigate over to this website. I'll have a link in the description. This will open up a Microsoft troubleshooting app to help resolve any issues you have with a Microsoft Store. So it's very simple. There's one button on this page, or one main button I should say, and it would be to run the troubleshooter. I'm going to left click on it. Once it's done downloading, I'm going to open it up. So this will help troubleshoot Windows Store apps. You want to left click on Next. So right now it'll scan for issues. So right now it's just telling me that a Microsoft account is required to sync your settings. However, if you have any other error alerts, you just click next and it should resolve the issue. So if this method does not still work for you, don't fear, we have one more thing to try. So we're going to head over to our start menu and we're going to type in PowerShell. We're going to type in PowerShell. Windows PowerShell should come up. We want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. You want to left click yes on this user account control pop up. With the Windows PowerShell window open, I have a line of text I want to insert into our PowerShell window. This will be in the description of this video. In order to paste this into PowerShell, we want to right click on the top of this window here. And then we want to left click on edit and then paste. And now that we see that our code has been transferred over, we want to click on the enter key on our keyboard. Okay, so this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to let this PowerShell window run and do its thing and I will be back. Hello everyone, I'm back. So it took a few minutes to run, but it looks like it finished up. So I'm going to close out of this window. So let's open up the Windows Store and make sure everything's working A-OK. -okay. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope one of the three methods explored in this video worked for you guys. Hopefully at least one of the three. Hopefully you don't have to go through all three methods. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.